We're standing here in the southern uh, Sierra Nevada at the Critical Zone Observatory. The Southern Sierra Critical Zone Observatory is a National Science Foundation supported uh, multi-investigator research site. So it's, it's a collaborative effort bringing the uh, best, we, best knowledge uh, that we can to bear on questions of this critical zone that goes from basically down in the soil to the bedrock up to the top of uh, the uh, what we call the boundary layer. We're really asking the question of where do the trees get their water, especially during the dry season? How deep does the soil go? How deep do the roots go? Do the roots go down into the bedrock, for example, and, and pull water? So in this, in this experiment, uh, our colleagues uh, from UC Davis and, and partners from UC Merced dug out the roots of this tree just to see how far down the roots go. This part of our measurement program is a flux tower. We call it a flux tower. It's measuring the uptake of uh, carbon by the trees and the release of water by the trees as they grow. We call that the, the flux of carbon and the flux of water. So um, I maintain uh, this tower and three other towers. Uh, I also have installed um, a few dozen sap flow sensors and those measure the amount of water that the trees are sucking out of the soil and depositing into the atmosphere. So we have an array of that here and we have those at the other flux towers as well. We're also measuring the soil moisture around these towers and also soil development and soil texture. So we're trying to see how trees actually create the soil that they need in order to hold the water that they need to grow. So we have this uh, wireless sensor network where we have these uh, moats. The uh, connections duplicate in some degree, so we actually have a mesh where data can go from one of several different paths back to the base station. From the base station, it goes over the cell phone modem to uh, Merced and Berkeley. So the critical zone is defined as the zone of life, and we're studying the, the cycle of water, of, of carbon, uh, how, how ecosystems, trees, uh, other plants and, and animals respond to this, uh, to changes in this. So it's, this critical zone observatory is really the premier research site for understanding how our water, our forests will respond to climate change and other pressures such as for, and how forest management and water management actions can offset some of, of those uh, pressures that are coming from climate change.